I think it's very important that we talk about the difference between the loss of a loved one and the betrayal by loved ones. When we're talking about the loss of a loved one, we're talking about the sudden death of somebody who you care for, somebody who cared for you. And when we're talking about betrayal, we're talking about the narcissism, the toxicity that takes a relationship from loving and good and giving and something you're hopeful for to all of a sudden twist it into something angry and violent and hostile and something that you're pushed and driven away from. There's a clear difference. And I believe many of you would say that betrayal by a loved one takes a whole lot longer to process and to heal from. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, I have experienced both the loss of loved ones suddenly, and also the betrayal by loved ones. And I want to break down a comparison between the two and what I've gathered in my life from both of them and how to move on from both of them. Now, first, we'll talk about loss. I've experienced the loss of the sudden death of my mother back in 2006 when alcohol finally caught up with her and consumed her life. I've experienced it just this past summer with my father again from a sudden heart attack. And here's what I have to say about the sudden loss of people who you love. It is painful and it's shocking and it leaves you in a surreal place for a little while. But you're able to justify the reality that you're not going to get answers to these things because there's no control whatsoever over life and over death. We understand internally in our mind and in our heart that this life is temporary and that things in this life are temporary and there's a season that things live and then things will die. I'm going that route and so are you. And so after we finish processing the pain of the sudden loss and we go a couple of years of holidays missing them and mourning for them to be there, remembering the good times, remembering the laughter, Ultimately, we're able to understand that this is a part of the life that we live in. This is experiencing and healing from loss in this life. Now, later in this video, we're going to talk about moving on from loss in this life and how they affect you. Let's talk about betrayal. What is betrayal? Betrayal is different. Betrayal is experiencing the complete break of trust the shattering of a mutual common ground. It's that unspoken or spoken agreement that you have with other people, family members, friends, a spouse, a loved one, that they're going to be tender with your heart, caring with you, and you're going to do the same in return, that you can trust them with your secrets, that you can be vulnerable with them, and they're not going to do anything to maliciously hurt you, and then they do. They betray you. It's when they break that moral standard that was established between you. This is betrayal. And it's not that they're gone. And it's not that the relationship is suddenly over because it isn't. Instead, now you're in a position where you're wanting answers. You're trying to figure out why they betrayed you. Not only that, but you're trying to gain back what you feel you lost because it's still in existence. When you lose a loved one, there's no getting that back. When you are betrayed in this life, there's this feeling like you can somehow get something back. You can either win back your sense of self that's been lost, or you can win back the relationship, or you can somehow rewrite or overwrite the betrayal. But as we know from dealing with narcissistic abuse and toxic relationships, you cannot overwrite these betrayals. So now let's talk about how they affect you, because both affect you differently. Well, as we already talked about with experiencing the loss of a relationship, it affects you deeply because of the shock, because of missing that person who's no longer going to be there. And But one of the things that it leaves you with is a desire to move forward, to carry the torch of what they meant in your life. When I was with my father last Christmas, this time last year. 
and I spent time with them and I asked for the torch of being able to be uh, able to carry on a ministry in this life. And he blessed me with that mantle. And then he passed away just this past summer and I'm able to live out carrying that mantle in honor of him. And oftentimes we find ourselves in these places where we experience a loss in life, where we feel like we can pick up a torch and we could do something great in honor or in memory of them, right? That's how we process and move on from a loss. We don't waste losing a person in life. We want to live in honor of that life. Now, let's talk about betrayal. Betrayal is completely different. I wasn't sure how to articulate how betrayal leaves you. So I looked it up online and I found another writing that was perfect in how it describes it. And I'm going to read it out loud to you. Betrayal. It leaves you powerless, helpless, vulnerable, wounded, damaged, guarded, and broken. Your heart can no longer trust. It does not trust. It no longer believes in the goodness of anyone else's heart. It no longer believes it is worthy of being loved, of being protected. This is a big one. When you feel betrayed, you feel like, who can protect you? If the one person or the people who told you they cared for you and would protect you, if they can't do it, then who can? It is tired from living in a constant state of anticipation and expectation that it will be hurt and betrayed once more. It no longer wants to love, no longer knows how to love. It has become numb, deadened to its desires, and you tell yourself you are content with this. How many of you feel this way coming out of betrayal? You find yourself in this place where you don't want to love anybody. You don't want anybody to love you and you become content with this. And I know I am here and I've been there as well. There's a period of isolation from betrayal that takes a long time. It takes a lot longer than experiencing the loss of somebody. Betrayal does so much more damage to your heart because of all those things, your vulnerability, who can protect you, who can be there for you. If your secrets can't be safe with the people who you thought then where can you go, (laughs) right? So now, how do you move on from betrayal? How do you process betrayal when this is how betrayal leaves you? Well, what I've discovered, the same with loss, where you carry the torch, you do something in honor of them, right? Betrayal is nothing like that, but you're still going to carry a torch, but it's a different torch, The idea behind healing and processing from betrayal that I've experienced, that works for me, is not wasting the betrayal, but making it meaningful in my life, not for them. Making betrayal meaningful for me. What do I mean by this? In my situation, the biggest betrayal I have experienced is with my in-laws, with my wife's family. I tried to fit in. I tried to play marrying into the family. I tried to get along with them and I was rejected and I was betrayed and my vulnerabilities were pounded on by these people. One of the most meaningful moments in my life personally was the moment that I realized that God did not call me to join somebody else's family, but that God had called me to become a family. Do you follow me on that? That is meaningful, and I would not have had this realization had I not experienced the betrayal and the rejection of a family that I thought I was supposed to be a part of. Are you hearing me? Somebody needs to hear this. Another example is you, the royal we. See, I put meaning to the narcissistic abuse and the rejection that I felt all my life ever since a small child and the abuse from my stepfather And when my own dad even left when I was younger, in all of the bullying, in all of the situations that I've experienced, I put all of that, rolled it all up, and I deliver it to you with passionate messages here on The Royal We to help you recover. This is putting meaning to all the abuse, to the world of narcissism that I have experienced. And this is how you carry that torch. This is how you put meaning 
behind the narcissistic abuse that you've experienced. And I'm not talking about making videos. You don't have to make videos to do that. You can volunteer, you can counsel, you can pray for people, you can pick up something you're passionate about, painting, art, music. Get back to who you are as an individual and pour yourself into it with this new meaning that you have from being betrayed. This is what being betrayed can offer you. It can push you back into yourself. A lot of people look at isolation as being a bad thing. I don't believe that. Are we made for relationships? Yes, possibly. But you know what you're made for first? To identify who you are from the inside out. To cultivate your talents and your abilities in everything that you are. To cultivate your authenticity. And oftentimes we need to be pushed out of a toxic relationship and into this place of isolation where we are able to connect with our inner truth, with our inner authenticity, with who we are as individuals, and then live out from that place. Let's not be a part of your healing journey. So down below in the description box, you will be able to find links for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. We could have a telephone session. We could have a FaceTime session. We could have an email session if you would like. Also, from now until the end of December, I'm offering a very, very low-cost video sponsorship option. This is where you provide me with details of your situation, and I will give you feedback in a video format. This is going to be an amazing offer. I'm going to change the pricing on that right now, the night of this video. And I hope you take advantage of this because it's not going to last long, but it's a great way to get some insight into your specific situation. So scroll on down in the description box, find links for all of that. Also, live chat every Monday night. You'll find the link to that channel. Royal We Fellowship, an all-new in-depth Bible study. You can find the link to that channel down below as well, and uh, which is going to be tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, 9 a.m., Royal We Fellowship. And we'll be back with more videos right here on the Royal We.